This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Come on! Come on! Oh shit! Go for it, go for it! Leroy Jenkins! Oh shit, come on, come on, come on, don't die, don't die, don't die! Don't wanna die over here, man! Oh shit! Shit! The battery died! The car died! Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go! Go! Crawl! Crawl, you mother trucker! It died here! No, 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 go, 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 go down here, go down here, go down here, go down here. Come on, go. Shit! Come on, get, 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 get down there, get down there, get down there. Come on, come on, come on. I have no power. I have no freaking power. It went from. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We have to get up the hill. Come on, come on. Build up, build up speed. Build up speed, build up speed. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break. Coming through. Coming through. Come on, come on, come on. Get up the damn hill. Get up the last hill. Oh, shit. It's. Oh, shit. It's. Oh. No. 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 Come on, come on. Get up there. Get up there. No, 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 no. Okay, new day, new car. Well, another car. So we are now at Cleavage. This is at Rebil. Uh, so it's just uh, another soul. You know, they're quite similar. Or I mean, more or less the same. We have the same gray um, uh, seat, leather seats. Uh, all of these, or pretty much all of them that were, been, were sold back then, they were specced up as exclusive. So they have the ventilated seat, the heated, all that. Wait, wait, wait I'm gonna check something here. So I didn't check it last time, but we just have to make sure that, yeah, seat heaters are working on both sides. Yeah, okay. Steering wheel heater is working. Okay, that's good. And then let's check the condition of the car. Huh, you see, it was advertised as 2016 model, but it actually came from 2015. But uh, this is an import car, so it lived somewhere outside of Norway for the first seven, uh, six, seven months before it was first registered in Norway in 2016. So it's still an eight-year-old car with 108,000 kilometers on the odometer. Hmm, okay, and then it reports. Wow, it seems to be almost 80, over 80 kilometers uh, of gum range, but that could be. You know, if the previous owner has been hammering it, or if it's been hammering during test drive, then it will show low numbers, right? Uh, we get better indication here. So we have slightly better numbers here than yesterday. Uh, yesterday was 74 and 80. This is 76 and 83, so it's slightly better. But yeah, here, this also doesn't make any sense, man. The kilowatt hour here versus... Yeah, whatever. We should look at something else. Then maybe min-max uh, volt, the uh, cell voltage. But uh, other than that, I can't see anything else. Okay, battery has been sitting in the in the work. I mean, in the sales shop now. Okay, so 14, 15 degrees Celsius, slightly colder than yesterday, but that shouldn't matter too much. Now we just have to wait until the charge is to 100 percent. Another thing to check for is uh, what kind of tires we have. We have Nuken Hakablita R2. I was like, what the heck, R2? Those are ancient, and you have to look for this number here. Well, it's upside down, but, but it says. 11 and 16 it means week 11 and year 16 so uh let me see the car came in 16 yeah i bet uh, yeah, you know uh, what what country it came from i don't know but i bet you know this came to uh, norway in, in uh, uh, june 2016 and then uh, week 11 wait when is that it's not month 11, but during that uh, year, they also put on the tires. So the tire is old, it's seven years old. So uh, if uh, you could maybe use that as a negotiation point that you have pretty old tires, they should be replaced by now. Now we have R5, you know, we have, well, it was Hakkabilita R2 and then R3. They skipped four, maybe because four is an unlucky number in Finland. <laughs> yeah, but then also want to check the winter tires. Oh, sorry, the summer tires. What kind of tires do we have here? Uh, oh, Nexen. Yeah, it's just like the other car yesterday. Nexen and Fair. I mean, these are the original tires. They are eight years old, also uh, semi slick. Yeah. 
so that's also not the best uh, tires you can get yeah i have the ecoflow with me just an uh, emergency oh, other than that though the car seems okay but um, they're asking for seventy thousand nook for this which is a bit in the high end but yeah okay let's see what matters is the battery oh yeah i found okay i found it it's made in korea and then i found the tag here week 38 year 15 holy macaroni it's all right we'll fill the chart now so let's reset everything and then off we go okay reset this one 86 kilometers oh you can see it. 86 kilometers of uh estimated range okay reset okay oh, wait what the heck uh is the backup camera not working uh that's not good i tried to restart the car i had to ask them about this all right we're on the moon so we were just heading north towards uh, garden moon and beyond so yeah uh, now it cruises 95 kilometers on uh, kilometers per hour on the speed though, and that's actually yeah 89 90 gps speed wow so yeah kia owners if you think you're driving at the speed limit speed up <laughs> Okay, consumption should stabilize. Yeah, uh, I chose to show uh, cell voltage, min max cell voltage, then that's more useful. So we'll take a look at the variables later. So um, today we should have a wet uh, Salzschmutzfest on the road, uh, and it's only minus one degrees. Hmm. We've been cruising mostly at 90 kilometers per hour now, and uh, consumption is 202 watt hour per kilometer. That sounds a bit high compared to i3 and e-golf. They will be hovering around 170, 180 watt hour per kilometer. But this is a, a quite boxy car compared to those cars. Uh, but also check that um, power consumption for climate is roughly 900 watts. So yeah, that sounds like we have heat pump. If we had PDC, it would probably be hovering around like 1.52 kilowatts. So, yeah, even though this battery is bigger than uh, uh, E-Golf battery, it might be that the range is roughly the same. See, we've done 56 kilometers so far. We are done, D-O-N, at the cleavage. We managed to drive almost 100 kilometers with consumption of 189 watt hour per kilometer, and we have 1%, wait, shit, can you see it? 1% left, 2.5% on BMS. And then, okay, so min cell is 3.0. Oh, can you see? There, there. Hmm. I think this is more normal at uh, and the low end. You're supposed to have this much energy. But wait, maybe it's a weak cell. Let me try to identify the weak cell. But anyway, so I calculated 18.7 kilowatt hour. So I think that's what you have to expect from an old battery. But I was hoping for almost 20 kilowatt hour. Hmm. Okay, this time it seems like uh, cell number 93 is the weakest and um, you have 3.2 3.1 yeah so that's the lowest maybe 3.2 3.3 2.23 yeah so slightly higher delta but this is also what you have to expect once you go lower but with the previous case then uh, we had 3.5 because all the other cells they were okay and this makes me wonder with the other battery if we replace that one cell how much can we actually cover hmm um i was gonna try to charge but then i get could not start charging please unplug the cable ev not detected huh i mean i have plugged it in properly i tried several times it keeps failing oh uh, you see the only problem is that we don't have too many chadamo here, uh, it's kind of busy. Uh, those are CCS only. There's some channel there, but they're occupied. Here also occupied. She, this is the downside of owning a soul is that we have less and less channel plugs. We, uh, we can go on the other side. We have some mere chargers there. We also have some more chem power on that side, but that means I have to cross the road with 1% battery left. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we have to YOLO it. Uh, yep, no, no child more available. Oh, let's see, power limit, 39 kilowatt. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. 
Oh, throttle mode. Get up the hill, get up the hill. Oh, shit. Oh, it's sluggish. <gasps> Where is that? Did the car die? Uh oh, uh oh. Did the car die? Shit. Shit. Wait, 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 huh? Okay, I don't know what the heck this is supposed to mean. It's a red battery icon. Uh, but we have that symbol and we still have one. Can, can, we, can we drive? It, it's in some crawl mode. Oh, shit. Okay, let's see if we can make it there. Oh, we have three kilowatt. It's, oh shit. It's a neo crawl. Three kilowatt power limit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Oh, it's clear. It's clear. Shit, for the soul, don't die me here! Oh man! Holy macaron slow! Uh oh, where's, where's the hazard lights? Hazard lights? There, hazard lights! Hazard lights! Shit, 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 shit! Go, 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 go! Come on! Come on! Oh shit! Go for it, go for it! Leroy Jenkins! Oh, shit. come on, come on, come on, don't die, don't die, don't die! I'm gonna die over here, man! Oh, shit! Shit! The battery died! The car died! Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go! Go, crawl! Crawl, you mother trucker! It died here! No, 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 go, 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 go down here, go down here, go down here, go down here. Come on, what? Shit. Come on, get, 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 get down here, get down here, get down here. Come on, come on, come on. I have no power. I have no freaking power. It went from, oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We have to get up the hill. Come on, come on, come on. Build up, build up speed. Build up speed, build up speed. I can't break, I can't break. Coming through, coming through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up the damn hill. Get up the last hill. Oh shit, it's... Oh shit, it's... Oh, no! 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 Come on, come on! Get up there! Get up there! No, 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 no! Losing speed, losing speed! Stop, 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 stop! Um... Man, this is not the place I want to run out of juice. Uh, the cars, they can get past, but it's just... I had to squeeze on this side. Well, just come. Just, just, <laughs> I mean, man. Next time, I bring out the EcoFlow, and then I charge for a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're fine, you're fine. So, oh, this is super good. Oh, shit, it's pulling 2.6 kilowatt. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. You're gonna blow the, you're gonna blow the fuse. I have to hook up on, yeah, it's pulling way too much power. Because this is rated only for 2.4 kilowatts. Uh, well, we have 1% again. Um, you know, the EcoFlow is actually outputting uh, still. It hasn't died yet, so... Well, we get 2 kilowatt into the battery. 1.5... Uh, let's unplug and see if we can get over to the fast charger. Okay, let's see. Will it drive? Key not detected. Oh shit. Bloody hell, man. System check. Power limited, that's fine. Can we drive at least? Oh, it goes. Oh, shit. For hell, but. Uh, let's just try. Let's try the. Uh, the charges over here. Okay, let me see. Come on, come on. Come on. Hmm, the red thing disappeared. Ah, oh, the red. Oh, okay, okay. Can power. Okay, let's go. Well, guess what? Here it works. No problemo. It must have been a problem with the other charger. See, I plug it in. It detects the car. It is charging. Man, but this is just a reminder that when I test these old cars, uh, especially when I go deep, like 1%, 
you have to bring the EcoFlow. <laughs> yeah, so I was able to recover within just five minutes. And also because I've been playing around and also running out of, of juice on purpose, I was quite uh, drilled and trained for this. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> but okay, anyway, um, yeah, let's see. How fast are we charging? I saw only 19 kilowatts. I'm not sure why it's charging so slow though. Look at this. The battery is hot enough, but it's charging only at 18 kilo, 19, huh? What the heck? Is there something wrong with the charger? Nah. Huh, this is a bit strange. Uh, uh, you see, I'm ha I have heater on now. I'm getting only 18 kilowatt. Um, I know the power modules on Chem Power, they are 25 kilowatt. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't know, you can see it there um, on the screen. I didn't scan the QR code, but the, the charger is outputting 20 kilowatt and then 2 kilowatt goes into heater. Uh, I mean, I should I should get 25 kilowatt. How, what the heck is going on here? Is it is the car limiting this? I have to check out the charger. Okay, this is really weird. Um, it doesn't say if it's... Car, huh? Normally I could see it quite clearly if it's car limited or charger limited. Um, so I sent an email to Kempower and asked about this. It's given the session here so they can figure it out for me. Yeah, but let's try to move charger and see if we get uh, something else here. We are now at the main charger, Delta charger, and boom! No problem! Um, okay. Then there's something problem, some problem with the Kempower charger. Oh, shit! My sponsor! Okay, interesting. Um, on the previous uh, test with uh, Sol, it throttled at 72-73%, now it throttles a little bit earlier. This could also be a result of aging of the battery. Okay, but I think we've seen enough now. Let's go return the car. Okay, so would I buy this car? Well, okay, first, if you look at this from a consumer perspective, um, the degradation seems to be slightly higher than it should be. Uh, at that kilometer, that odometer, it should have around 20, uh, 20 kilowatt hour, not 18.7. Um, and then what else? Yeah, the tires are old. The winter tires are old. So uh, you need to buy new tires and they cost a lot. Let's say uh, maybe almost 10,000 nook for a full set, right? Summer tires are also kind of old. So, uh, and then you have the backup camera that is kaput. So you see, these are arguments you can use against the seller to try to negotiate a good price. So uh, how much would I pay for it? It's, they, uh, they try to sell it for uh, 70,000. Um, I would probably pay only 50 or 55,000 because of the kaput camera and the other stuff that is kind of missing and the degradation. So, but would I personally buy this car? Um, I'm not sure. I want 20 kilowatt hour. Uh, actually, I believe we can find 20 kilowatt hour. Uh, but uh, and then even if it has some kilometers, it may be even 120, 130, 150,000 kilometers. We could probably find over 19 at least kilowatt hour. So we'll see. The search still continues. But I also asked one of my, how, how expensive is it to replace a backup camera? He said, no, that's not, that's not expensive. So yeah, if I would buy this car, uh, I have to replace the backup camera and then I have to live with 18.7 kilowatt hour. I want 20 kilowatt hour. So, okay. But anyway, uh, this was at least the one, the first part, this, uh, the, the search still continues. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.